Tomorrow's the day we ask you to give the gift of life at the 10th annual Blood Source Summer Classic Blood Drive at Blood Source locations throughout Northern California. Tonight I bring you the story of Debbie and her daughter Amanda, who say their family would be forever changed if it weren't for generous donors. Debbie Milos has worked for Blood Source for 16 years, making daily calls, recruiting people to donate blood and bone marrow. And during that time frame, I had a great appreciation for the donors who take time out of their day to do what they do. Little did she know her hard work would pay her back in a huge way. It all happened at a wedding in June 2009. And I got all prettied up and didn't even last through the reception. It was a disaster. She ended up in the intensive care unit. Her blood count so low, she ran the risk of stroke, heart attack, or even worse, organ failure. All because of multiple ulcers she didn't even know she had. And I thought, I am a healthy person. How could this possibly happen to me? Debbie received three units of blood and knows that without those people who took time out of their busy days to walk into blood source and donate, that blood wouldn't have even been on the shelf ready for her in her time of greatest need. And in many cases, it happens more than once in a lifetime or in a couple of years, which has happened to my family. Then in April of this year, Debbie's daughter Amanda gave birth to her first child, Violet. I was two weeks overdue and ended up having to be induced. Um, she was born at about 3.30 in the morning and um, probably by 7 I was hemorrhaging. Ended up having to go into in and out of surgery three times um, and use six units of blood before, I think within 24 hours. Amanda doesn't remember anything until meeting her own daughter two days later. Every unit of blood made her healthier, stronger, and she was released a week later as a new mother. But the stress of the ordeal weighed on her family and on her own mother, who'd already had her own bout with illness. I got out of the hospital on Saturday, and the following Tuesday, my mom went into the hospital. This was a pretty quick turnaround. Debbie found herself back in the hospital receiving more transfusions from blood source donors less than two years after her first scare. And now the blood source employee and recipient couldn't sound a louder trumpet thanking those who've donated and encouraging those who have yet to. We have a saying at blood source, yes, you do save lives. And there is no truer statement that we can pass along to a blood donor than that. You are living proof. I am. My family is living proof. If you'd like to help people like Debbie and Amanda, please participate in the 10th Annual Summer Classic Blood Drive. It takes place tomorrow at the locations on your screen. Action News will be broadcasting all day from the Chico and Redding locations. You and I both did stories both on did different stories. people, and it's just interesting meeting real people. They're just real everyday people. real people affected. It's incredible. You just go in, you take an hour of your day to donate, and it can save a life. Yeah. More tomorrow.